Hi everybody, my name is James and I am glad to welcome you to my channel. You forgot your PIN code and now you can't log into Windows. Perhaps you will guess your password and thus log into Windows, but this also did not work. You click, Reset Password, but you don't have a flash drive to reset your password, and most importantly, you now can't use your computer or laptop. Don't worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, in order to reset the password, we need to open a command prompt, and first I will show you four ways to open a command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key, and then click, here, and restart your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Then, Advanced Options. Now press, Command Prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening the command line. In this case, I suggest opening the command line in a different way. For those with command prompt open, you can skip the second and third methods and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. Method number two. And so, to open the command prompt, we restart the computer for this. And as soon as the system starts to boot, we immediately press the reset button to force the computer to restart. If your computer is UEFI, the Windows boot will show dots rotating in a circle, just like in my video, and you immediately force restart your computer. And if you see the Windows logo, then also immediately press the reset button. If this is happening on your laptop, when the Windows logo first appears or dots rotating in a circle, press and hold the power button for about 4 seconds until the laptop turns off, and then turn on the laptop again. Continue to force restart your computer or laptop several times until system restore starts and you see a white font on your monitor. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click here. Then, troubleshoot. Click, Advanced Options. Now press Command Prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening Command Prompt. For such a case, I suggest opening the command prompt in a different way. Method number 3. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows installation menu will open, but we will not install anything, just press Shift and F10 at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Sometimes this method does not work, and now I will show you the fourth and final way to open a command prompt. Method number four. The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number three. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Next. 
in the menu we will click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. Now write on the command line, Regedit, and press, Enter. The registry editor opens. You need to click, here. Click, File. And click, Load Hive. Click, here. Click again, and this PC will open. Here we need to find the drive where the Windows operating system is installed. At the very top we see the drive, and it is designated by the letter C, but this is my storage of personal files, and there is no Windows installed here. There may also be another large drive connected to your computer, but if you open this drive, you will immediately see that there is no Windows folder on it. On my computer, the drive with Windows is marked with the letter D on your computer or laptop, the drive with Windows installed may be marked with a completely different letter, it could also be the letter D or another letter. We also see here a bootable USB flash drive, with which we open the command line, and another small Windows partition, or rather, a small directory for system files. I know that my Windows operating system disk is 232 gigabytes in size and I open this window. Open the Windows folder. Locate and open the folder, System32. In this window, open the folder, Config. Here find the file, System, and double-click on it. In this window, you need to specify a name for the created folder, I will name this folder, Password. You can name this folder by any other name, the name of this folder has no meaning for the process. Press, OK. Open this folder. So, we have created a folder, Password, and now we open it. Locate the folder, Setup, and click on it. Now find the file on the right, CMD line, and double-click on it. In the window that opens, write, CMD, EXE. And click, OK. Now find the file, Setup Tup, and double-click on it. In this window, instead of 0, enter the number, 2. Click, OK. Then find the folder, Password, and click on it once. Then click, File, and click, Unload Hive. Click, Yes, and close this folder. Close Command Prompt and click, Continue Loading Windows. If you use the third or fourth method, close the installation menu. Click, Yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command prompt was opened. Here we will write, net, click, spacebar, user. Click, enter. Now we see our account name, my name, James. Now we write, net, press spacebar, user. Lick the spacebar, your account name, I write, James. Press spacebar, put a sign, an asterisk, for this press on the keyboard, shift and number 8, at the same time, and click, enter. We do not write the password, we have deleted the password, and instead of the password, we have an empty space. Click, enter. Then you need to press again, enter. As a result, the command was successfully completed, now we do not have a password, and the command prompt can be closed. If your name is made up of several separate words, this could be a problem. In this case, try this, try putting your name between the two hooks, for example, James Bond. In this line write, net, press spacebar, user, press spacebar, James Bond, press spacebar, put an asterisk. Try to enter your name without the spacebar in one word, for example, James Bond. Try these different options. We close the command prompt, and to do this, write, exit. We click, enter. The lock screen opened, I don't remember my PIN code and just switched to entering the password. 
And so, my computer is unlocked, the desktop opens Windows 11, and here we see that all my files are saved and I have not lost my personal data. If you have forgotten your password and it is very important for you to unlock your computer, repeat all these steps and you will also be able to reset your password. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Have a nice day, everyone.